Welcome along everybody. This is going to be my guide for Sleepy Sound. We're going to divide this into two because it's quite a big POI to get around. If you look at it on the map, it's you've got it's kind of in two halves to get around the whole thing. It's going to be a bit of an ask because there's not as many POIs as there was in the last map and you know, you've got 100 players and to get this all to yourself is it's probably not going to happen. Um in the old map, you know, somewhere like Craggy Cliffs or even Misty Meadows sometimes, you could be the only person that lands there and you get the whole place to yourself. But this is quite a big area, so I've divided it into two. We're going to do this side first of all. I've had to look at both sides, and this for me is the best landing spot because you can get shield as soon as you land. And that's the most frustrating thing sometimes when you land and you can't find any shield and you've got someone on you, can't open a couple of chests, can't find any minis, and it really drives you cr crazy. You're just like, give me shield. But this one, you can get shield straight away, which is what I like, which is why I always try and land at certain spots where you've got barrels or deep freezes or things like that. And also where there's quite a few chests around you. So that way, as you know, they, the chests are not always there. The, uh, the location never changes, but the availability. So if you land where there's quite a few chests that could be there, there's bound to be at least one or two. So you're not running around thinking, oh, the chest's not here. Damn. Do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, this is a great POI. It kind of reminds me of Craggy Cliffs a bit, but also like Believer's Beach. It's quite strange. But we're going to go around in a big U-turn along here. Straight up here. And then around this way here. And I'll show you a nice little trick at the end where you can hopefully catch some people out. Also, there's lots of routes out. There's lots of cars around this bit. So you can, if the storm's over here near the Daily Bugle, you can drive along this road here and go either way. Or drive straight down if the storm's down. Or go uh, left or west if the storm's over here. So you can drive over there. Or you can take a speedboat and go down the river. So you've got plenty of ways you can get out and from the storm. You never get caught in the storm. It's just quite a good one. But yeah, without further ado, let's get going. What, Like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to land on here, this roof here. It's going to be quite fast around here. I'm going to, if I get a chili straight away, which is why I like landing here as well, because you can get a chili, we can whiz around this so fast. So what we're going to do, I've set up a launch pad straight away. So that way it mimics me gliding in, because I didn't want you to sit there watching me gliding down for five minutes. You know what I mean? So I've just done it like this, so it's quicker for you. Um, this is done in Battle Lab, so I can show you exactly where all the chests are, because it's a new map. You know, uh, in the old map, I could do a guide and say there could be a chest here, there could be a chest there. And sometimes people would know what I meant because they've seen the chest themselves. But this is quite a brand new POI, and I'd rather just show you visually so you know where every chest could be. Even if the chest's not there, I will still go the same route in case it is. Uh, it's like in Misty Meadows and Craggy Cliffs, I always followed the same route. No matter what, just in case there is chest there. But we're going to run around it really quickly and... Yeah, get lots of loot, and there's lots of mats around here, lots of brick, metal, wood, there's tons. And hopefully catch some people out when I show you this little bit at the end. Right, so without further ado, let's get going. So we're gliding in now, you just landed. We're going to land on this roof here, right at the corner. And there could be a chest here. If there's not a chest here, just land at the truck there. We'll land here. Then just come straight over this. Into the back of the truck. Is your next one that could be at the end. Now I'd smash this truck up just for the metal. And plus you've got the two uh, fruit things there. Fruit basket things. If you're lucky you'll get chilies, you get loads of mushrooms, you get your shield up. Now here's your barrels here. You can get your shield up straight away. There's more um, fruit, fruit, fruit things here, more mushrooms. So with them barrels and all them mushrooms that have just dropped, you can have full shield. Straight through here, another chest, bang. Straight through here, come straight round into this corner. Here's your next chest. Now just come straight over into the room at the end. Again, another barrel there. More fruit and stuff there. Oh, there's a the chili there, so we can speed this up. Pop the chili. Right, now just come straight round the back. Straight over the top. There's none on top of the roof. I've already had a look there. Come straight through. Hop over into here at the end in the toilet. Straight out the door, and it's in the swimming pool, the next one. Now this next bit is a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, it's really quick. Just come straight in here, it's like a little sequence. Come in here, and just remember to, when you come to the bathroom, build up. And then come through the floor and then the wall, and your next chest will be there. And the next one again, when you come to the bathroom, up again. Just like up, up. 
and then you'll come onto the roof and then there's your next one and then just come over here drop down there's your next one come straight over to this there's not one in there I've already checked there but come here you see there's your next one I'd smash this up just to get the metal and just keep an eye out where the cars are as well so you know where you can quickly grab a car as you're coming across now come back in here into the bottom floor straight into the end room above your head I want that one I actually find the SMG better come straight through than the assault rifle I don't know why come straight through here is your next one again build up straight through the floor and then there'll be your next one. Oh, straight through the wall as well. And then there's your next one. And once you've got that, come back on yourself and come out the door on your right. Right round. Have a little look for a car. Don't worry if you can't find one because we've got a speedboat. Oh yeah, let's speed it up. Sorry. Oh, there you go. There's a bear there. All right, so we've got a bear there if we need it. Come straight over to this building here. It's the it's the fish sticks one. One of the big fish sticks on there. Come straight over here. Here's your next chest. No, no, get out of the bin. Hey, bin dipper. <laughs> right, then just come straight in here. Another couple of barrels there. Straight around here, turn left, stairs up. Here's your next chest. Yeah, let's have a legendary pump. Straight through the floor here. Just remember, by the door, go through that floor there. There's your next one. Come out here, come right to the end and just build up one stairs. Jump over. Next one could be in air. Use this, get some metal up as well. There's plenty of rocks around here you can bash up and trees and stuff if you want to spend a bit of time here. Deep freeze here. With small fries, nice. <laughs> Little fruit basket again if you need to get some fruit and veg. Another chest here. And the other one is on top of this roof, so just build up. Bang, and there's your next one. Now what you can do, quickly hop over the roof and just chill in this little bush. Ah! I oh know, they've got to change the bind for that bind. It's so frustrating sometimes. And then you can just chill in this bush and you can have a look for people. Look at the angle I'm facing. You can have a look for people over the other side and hopefully snipe someone off that's coming across. Because if the storm's... Mo well, 98% of the time they're going to have to come across to this side unless the storm's literally right over here somewhere unless the storm's right over here and they'll log, down, log jam lumberjack 98% of the time they're going to have to cut across to this side to come wherever they've got to go across the map so you can hopefully catch some people coming across the river and stuff snipe them off then when you've got to make your escape you've got the speedboat there or you've got that bear that we saw just at the back so you can choose whichever you want to do whether you want to go up down the river or you, whichever you want to go in the car as you can see, you can come along here and get more rocks. So you've got plenty of mats here. Plenty of mats. And lots of fishing pools if you'd like collecting your fish. Sometimes the boat can be a little bit open to getting lasered. So I'll stop here. As you can see, you can just turn down here and then go all the way down the river. Me personally, I prefer taking a vehicle, like a car. So we just jump back over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> and off you go. Oh yeah, there's loads of vehicles. There you go. There you go. And I took a car, but yeah, I'm still taking the river. There we go. There's the main road. And then off you go. You are gone. All the way down that road there. Or again, you go that way for the storm that way. Or go west for the storm that way. And that is how to speed it really quickly. It's a nice, quick and easy run. How long did that take? Not long at all. And you can come out of there with lots of mats. Like I say, all the chests are not going to be there all the time. You know, that's just epic games and they're randomising the availability. The location will never change. So once you know the locations of them all... Oh, there's another little one here. But once you know the locations of them all, you can literally speed round it and just... Even if the chests are not there all the time, I will always still follow the same path just in case they are there. It's kind of like habit. I like to have a route that I take every time. 
and then that way it's like a little pattern that I've got every single time so it's it's nice you know what I mean you haven't got to worry about oh look I can hear chests where are they where are they you can just concentrate on killing people and you know we already know where all the chests are anyways all the best I hope that helps and if it does feel free to look look throw a like and subscribe i'm going to do the other side as well but there's a lot of chests over there and like i say trying to get this whole poi to yourself when there's not many pois on the map it's a bit of a tall order to be honest so it's better to stick to one half either this half here or the bottom half here but that bottom half i just showed you how quickly you had to get around it just land on there bang straight in the truck as soon as you come through the doors you got all the shields all the barrels and then just do a little u sort of shape all the way around there and then jump in the bush here at the end if I can get my marker there. Just to gather yourself, sort your weapons out, have a little look for people over here that you can snipe, and then when you want to make your escape, just jump in a speedboat here or jump in a car that's over here somewhere. Anyways, all the best. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the chapter so far, everybody.